Hello Guardians, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. I know I've been gone away for a while, and last time I said I'd, tr I'd actually try to uh, make videos, but I'm gonna be real, the last time I was interested was uh, during the reveal event, and then just kind of everything dropped off for me after that. But hey, you know what, at least Trials of Osiris will be live this weekend, so uh, I w this be usually the part where like the person tells you, hey, like come check out my Twitch stream, but like I won't be able to stream something like that. But hey, I do stream, because uh, I I I'm going to try to stream, because I have a VTuber model now, so yeah, it's not perfect, but it gets the job done. The streams are in 240p if you want to check me out on Twitch. But anyway, sorry, enough shilling. Let's actually get into the topic of um, the best time in Destiny, and when is that best time? And obviously my answer to that. So, as you may know, right now we're going to be going through like this 6 to 5 month season. It's going to be pretty long, that's why we have the 30th anniversary pack in between, and we have like Festival of the Lost, we have like um, the Dawning, probably Age of Triumph somewhere in there, Crimson Days if they want to bring it back, and obviously the six player activity that's coming as well in December time, around the same time as the 30th anniversary event when that starts. You know, like, there's a lot of stuff, like, that's going to be happening during this, like, five months that we're just, we're, we're going to see, I'd say, like, October is when this all really will start, or, mm, nah, December is when it'll really start. But if I dial it back a bit and stop fanboying a bit, about how much content we're getting. And yes, I might talk about the price in our day, but like right now my quick opinion is it's okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll explain it later maybe in another time. But right now is a good time to play Destiny. Well, obviously because there's five months between now and the next uh, big expansion. That gives you plenty of time to grind, check out all the story content from various like DLCs and this current season, obviously in the pre uh, previous three seasons, yeah. And if you were to build your way up, obviously, you enter the game, you enter it for free. Maybe you do a few bits, level yourself to the max, because you can do that. And obviously, like, there's the season pass as well, if you're interested in getting yourself to, like, rank 100 before you buy it or whatever. Then, obviously, the next part would be, obviously, like, buying that uh, season pass, because it's literally 10 euro for, like, this season and probably the past seasons. I'm not 100% sure on that, because I think there might be, like, some weird problems where, like, people who have the current season pass can't access, like, previous season pass content, which is weird, and kind of, like, well, destroys the loot pool, or not loot pools, but, like, the matchmaking cues for, like, older stuff, like, Battlegrounds and stuff, but, hey, it, it is what it is, I guess, but I'd assume you get access to a lot of the past stuff as well, like, from the past few seasons, you know? And plus, around, uh, Witch Queen time, I think it's... Right now, I'm assuming it's going to be Season of Hunt that will go first of all the seasons, as the new, like, let's call it Season of Witch for short will come in. But as well as that, like, well, the other option is that literally all the seasons can just go. Imagine that. That'd be gas. I, I hope they don't do that, though. Like, I know, like, we have... Well, especially me, like, I don't really touch the old stuff anymore. But just knowing you have it, and if you need to play it, you know, you can do it. And, like, I have a friend that's uh, playing Destiny right now. I don't think he's going to ever spend, like, a dime in the game. But if he ever buys the season pass, at least I'll be able to play with him in the old activities again if he wants me to help him or something, you know? And plus, I still haven't got, like, I think it's the Warden pin or something. The Crow's one. Yeah. Uh, I, I've been lazing on that a bit, but other than that, your next step obviously would be to go into the DLCs and you can play through them. Uh, maybe not Forsaken is quick, maybe the other two quick, like Shadowkeep, you, you might be able to fly through that. Like it depends on various factors as well, and, like what you want and what you don't want. Part of me would probably recommend skipping Shadowkeep, but like it has a bit of heresy. And like, I love Pit of Heresy, like, it's, like, it, it just was better to me than Shattered Throne for some reason. I can't remember the reason why, but there is that. And obviously after that, once Christmas comes around, or should I say December, sorry, the 30th anniversary pack will come around, and you might want to cop that as well, because that's going to have, like, a good bit of stuff in it as well. And again, I'll discuss about the prices and other things if you guys want in another video. Now, this is the next question now, right? I, I know I've just described everything that Destiny's currently at right now, and what's coming, and especially obviously I, I meant to mention as well Witch Queen will be coming out with a new season uh, in February. So again, you have to build up the time, and then once you're ready, boom, you get this smack bang, hopefully delicious content to just grind and eat your way through. Now, back to the point, what is the best time to play Destiny, when is the best time to play Destiny, and is it now? Yes and no. Like, it depends on, like, what you want to do, you know? If you want to wait for the 30th anniversary pack, wait for the 30th anniversary pack. If you want to just start right now, you can, because, again, Destiny is free. 
and you can like pay for everything now. Except I would recommend, especially if you're buying the older expansions, like I'd wait until they're on offer. Like I even myself waited until they were all on offer before like I rebought them for myself. Even though like there's meant to be the game pass thing happening eventually. That yeah, <laughs> you know that's like an excuse to play Destiny if you don't want to, or if you want to like play the uh, newer stuff but you can't afford it. Like boy. Don't worry. I think Game Pass has got you covered soon. Maybe. I don't know. Because, like, it would have been around this time they would have introduced Witch Queen on the Game Pass along with the other things. For PC, by the way. It's already on Xbox, so, like, yeah, that's handy. But I don't know about PlayStation, so rest in peace. But, yeah. Sorry, I'm just running out of breath. It's been a while since I've talked <laughs> very passionately about Destiny. Especially because, like, yesterday I was just playing it and I was just dead. <laughs> it just, I was just not, like, thinking of anything at all. Just vibing with the lads in the party, you know? That's why I'm so excited for this weekend. But anyway, sorry. Enough ranting. So, since there's no definitive points, and obviously people are subjective to when they think the best time to play Destiny would be, I'd say there's, like, there's definitely three, like, main points between now and February of when you should probably, like, hop into Destiny and play all this stuff. Now, like, literally, right this minute, once you're done listening to this video, hop straight onto Steam, Xbox, PlayStation Store, download that boy. It's a big boy, and I think it's gonna be, like, 100 gigs next year with the Witch Queen coming out, according to descriptions. So, yeah, uh, be ready for that. It's best to download it now, so, like, when you get the update later, it's, like, a lot shorter download. And, you know, play your way through it there. If you're being awkward or you want to hold off to see, like, how the 30th anniversary is or maybe how some of the events are going, obviously, uh, you can wait then till, like, maybe Christmas time. I keep saying Christmas time. December 7th. That's when the 30th anniversary pack comes out. And, you know, if it's good stuff and you're like, oh, actually, I like what's in that $25, uh, dollar, euro, pound, whatever pack, I might actually, like, save up for that whilst I grind Destiny, you know, and then you go from there. And obviously, the last big time to join Destiny, obviously there's going to be other times, but within, again, uh, now to February, the last time I would recommend to get into Destiny right now would be during the Witch Queen, or before the Witch Queen, just in and around that time. So, like, you can grind a bit for it, like, maybe a month in advance before it, but, like, you're going to be, like, underprepared for it, and you might actually have to just, you might be stuck grinding whilst everybody else is, like, trying to fight, like, Hive Guardian, so good luck with that. That's gonna be it for me. I just thought I'd hop on, rant a bit about Destiny again because I've been uh, desperately waiting to stream again because I can only stream either Tuesday or Wednesday this week all the way till Thursday or Friday this week, so yeah. My drive for doing content's kind of minimal. Uh, that's why I've only been editing DDLC episodes for Joseph and Flair. Check out Joseph and Flair for other content and stuff and uh, live stream archives from Twitch. And uh, yeah, be sure to also... Uh, like the video if you liked it, comment guardians on what you thought of this video, and your, some of your thoughts, obviously. Subscribe and hit the bell if you do so desire on the multiple channels on screen. And I am Savala. Thank you again. <laughs> nah, no, sorry, I'll stop doing that. Thank you for watching, guardians.